Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. He hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello everybody and welcome to Read to Me Miss Tracy Story Time. Yes, you know what we do on the Read to Me Miss Tracy show? We bring books to life. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And I have been by the I See Me bookstore right here in St. Louis, Missouri, in University City. And here's their website, www.icme.com. And you can also give them a call, 314-349-1192. I got the book that I'm going to read to you in just two seconds. I'm super excited to be here and, you know, reading the story. And I brought Tinkerbell because she loves it. She loves it when I read to her. And if you have a pet, it could be a hamster or a lizard or a dog or a cat or, I don't know, your brother or a little something. I don't know. Somebody just read to whoever you want to read to. It's okay. It's your world. So, up next, we have Allie All Along. And this was written, or the author is Sarah Lynn Rayul. I think I said the last name right. Very cute book. Ready? Are you ready, Tinkerbell? Ready! Wow, lots of color in this book. Snap! Allie's crayon broke. <gasps> I blinked. She was suddenly furious, fuming, frustrated, and so so, oh, yeah, sounds really serious, right? You see the story? Think about oh, angry. Oh. She stomped and she smashed. Ah, and she crashed and threw. And tantrum a fuss in the fit. Boy, she is really upset. I gave her a pillow to punch so she wouldn't break other stuff. Can you have me a pillow? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Still, Allie, now you notice that she was all red and everything when she was angry. It was really, really red, right? Did you notice the colors, how they're changing? Still, Allie was ferocious, fierce, ooh, and very angry, all because she broke her crayon. I asked her why, but she wouldn't say, but I knew it was because of the crayon. And then look, there's her blue bunny. She's sticking her tongue out. Uh, uh, I'm not talking to you. So I told her to squeeze her favorite toy or I rub on Tinkerbell as tight as she could. He didn't mind. That's what the blue bunnies are for. Or maybe if you don't have a pet, you can squeeze your care doll or your teddy bear, mm -hmm, your beanie baby. You can do that too. You can give them a squeeze. It looked like it helped a little Oh, so she went from really red and angry to orange to yellow. Now she can peel off that kind of funk and that nasty that she was feeling, that angry that she's feeling. She's feeling a little better. She's turning green. But Allie was still irritable and angry. <clears throat> What'd you say to me? Oh, maybe she didn't even know why. I feel that way too sometimes. Do you feel that way sometimes too? Yeah, I do. 
are you trying to help me turn the page or you just want me to pet you? So I suggested try to take a deep breath. Oh, there's that deep breath thing again. Let's do it together, okay? This is for practice, so when, we're, when we need to take a deep breath to calm down, we can do so. One more time. But don't hold it too long. Pretend that my fingers are candles. Ooh, we get to do it again. Ready? <laughs> and you can blow them out. That seemed to help some more. Oh, wait. She was red, red, ferocious, fierce, angry. Then she was really upset. Then she was still irritable and a little mad. But now, look, blue bunny. The blue color of her bunny that calmed her down. Then she was just plain old regular angry and maybe a little sad too. Hmm. I helped her count backward from, let's start right here. What's this number? 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the rest of the angry fell away. And then there she was. Allie came back again. Hug, please. Oh, isn't that nice? When she wasn't angry anymore, and what did they do? They learned how to calm herself down. We all get angry sometimes. <laughs> I knew she was in there all along. Very, very nice. I knew Allie was in there all along. And what did she do to calm down, boys and girls? What she, let's see, they counted to 10 and you take deep breaths and yeah, yeah, they just, they hug something, pillow, they hug something, she punched a pillow so she wouldn't punch the dog or the cat or the teacher or mom or dad or your brother or somebody else, a friend that made you mad, they punched the pillow, they squeeze their bear, their favorite toy. Yeah, you know what? You can also give yourself a hug. Ooh, just hug and squeeze tight till you not, you're not mad anymore. You're back on, you're not red, orange, or yellow. You're like green, and you keep on hugging yourself and taking deep breaths. I like the hug part the best, though. Hashtag hug yourself. It's your daily vitamin. I like that. And they even counted backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You know what? I hope you feel better, because I certainly do. I especially like the hugging part. Yeah, it makes me feel good. And you know what else makes me feel good? When my hands are clean. So I've got a hand-washing song for you. Ready? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Do that every time you go outside, before you eat, if you've touched your face. You want to make sure you keep your hands clean. You want to keep your books clean. You know, and we, other people get them at the library. You want to make sure you wipe them down and keep them clean. That's right. Yep. 
But you know what? When I get my books from the I See Me bookstore, they're usually brand new. But you never know who's touched them. So before I read them and before I touch them, I make sure my hands are clean. You want to keep you safe. You want to keep your pets and animals safe and everybody else in your house and anyone else who's on a play date or touching your computer because they're liking, sharing, and subscribing the Read to Me Miss Tracy page. Yes! You guys are awesome. Be sure to like and tell me in the comments how you like the book or if there's a book that you have me read to you, I'll give you a shout out. Shout out your teacher's name, your school name, and anyone else that you like to read to. Okay? Cool. Thank you so much. Now, it is time to see you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, Mwah! jellyfish, yeah. see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. See you next time, Miss Tracy says, ah